Music is means of communication that transcends time. Music is eternal, but constantly evolving. Throughout history, it has always adapted to reality, to people, to changes in society, and to new technologies, creating new genres and new influences, from classical to jazz, from gospel to blues, from rock to techno, and much more. Today, new music and new ways of making music have inevitably entered the world of social media and new technologies, revolutionizing not only how music is consumed, but also how it is created and developed. It has transformed the world and the market it caters to. In this context, those involved in the music industry, including record labels, publishers, and musicians in general, have to deal with a new way of producing, promoting, consuming, and distributing music that cannot ignore the online world. The web has become the main stage where music is not only born, but also multiplied and consumed. The traditional venues, stages, recording studios, and basements where musicians used to gather in the past have now transformed and often shifted to the online world. Through social media, musicians have found a new, more economical, faster, and dynamic tool. It has become a virtual space where they can connect, collaborate, produce, and reach an audience that is often segmented and already targeted, potentially infinite, and certainly much larger. With this premise, new music productions often emerge from small projects or even self-produced works, transforming the artist into a producer and promoter of their own work, assuming multiple roles. Many artists have established themselves and found their space through the web and social media, bypassing the traditional paths that artists from the pre-social generations were obliged to follow, involving music producers, record labels, distribution companies, and more. This phenomena, originated from the United States and the United Kingdom, now affects the entire music world. Even in Italy, numerous examples can be found of artists who have chosen to become self-entrepreneurs. An inspiring example for young people is the pop duo Benji and Fede, two musicians who met online in 2010 and decided to form the duo Benji and Fede by starting to publish covers on YouTube. That's where their artistic success began. Through social networks, they established closer connections with their fans and achieved their first success on the web, which forced many radio stations to play their music. Subsequently, an important radio station contacted them to organize a tour in squares, and from there, they signed a record contract with major label Warner Music Italy. In 2019, their single Dove Quando reached the top of the singles chart earning them the double platinum certification from FIMI. Another artist who has excelled in both the roles of artist and producer is Fabio Rovazzi, a young and charming singer-songwriter from Milan. Over the years, he made himself known through social networks like Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, presenting the songs he produced and performed himself. His breakthrough came in 2016 with the release of the music video on social networks for a song he performed, Andiamo a Comandare, the song gained widespread popularity and was subsequently released by the core label Newtopia, Universal Music Group, receiving airplay on various Italian radio networks and becoming a summer hit. Rovazzi has continually reinvented himself. Beside being a singer-songwriter, he has become a versatile television personality, effectively promoting not only his music, but also his image. He has become a skilled presenter, an all-round showman, the protagonist of an important advertising campaign, and even the star of two movies. When it comes to self-production and musical entrepreneurship, it is impossible not to mention the ultimate symbol, Ed Sheeran, the iconic singer-songwriter of the new music scene in the United Kingdom, currently considered an international star. He started by performing in small London venues and gained recognition by sharing his songs on social media, particularly on YouTube. At the age of 14, he self-published his first independent extended play, The Orange Room Extended Play. Throughout his career, he has sold over 20 million records and collected dozens of awards and a call dates worldwide. In 2010, he moved to California, where he was noticed by Jamie Foxx, who invited him to record at his house in L.A. That marked the beginning of his rise to success. During those years, he released his last three independent extended plays, Ed Sheeran, Live at the Bedford, Songs That I Wrote with Amy, and most notably, Number 5, Collaboration Project, which reached the top spot on iTunes, selling over 7,000 copies in the first week. Building on this success, Ed Sheeran signed with Atlantic Records and released the single The A Team in 2011, which sold 58,000 copies in the first week and preceded the release of his third album, Plus. The album, his 
first released by an international label, was a success in the UK and led to Ed Sheeran winning the Brit Awards for Best Male Artist and Best Breakthrough Artist. In January 2017, he released the singles Castle on the Hill and Shape of You, which preceded his fifth album. The album reached number one in 30 countries, selling over 10 million copies worldwide, including 672,000 copies in the first week in England. The UK has a history of discovering new artists. Recently, the band Rixton from Manchester skyrocketed to the top of the UK singles chart with Me and My Broken Heart and has already sold 1 million copies worldwide. They started on YouTube where they enjoyed parodying famous songs and caught the attention of Justin Bieber's manager who signed them. It would be a very long list to mention all the artists who have decided to start by self-producing their own music. This possibility is offered by the many technologies available and the ease of sharing music on the web. One thing is certain, to reach a broad audience and succeed, talent is always essential, along with offering something original to the listeners.